Peace, love, light of healing, peace, love, light of healing, peace to the gods, peace to the earth, y'all. Climb on in. Climb in the building. Late night Q&A with y'all key talks. Y'all key awaken. Climb on in. Peace, 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 love, light of healing, gods and goddesses. Climb on in the building. Y'all been looking for me. Everybody been like, why ain't you been live on uh, IG? I went live on my YouTube the other day, you know, traveling around, doing this work. Shalom, shalom, laka aki. Shalom, malek, how you feeling? Shalom, shalom, mishpati, my family. Blessings, blessings, y'all climb on in. What are your suggestions on becoming a master herbalist? Uh, I have my own school now. Uh, yes, I want my own accredited school. So y'all be able to be uh, certified under me. So if you want to be a master herbalist, you got to go through our curriculum and stuff. We're going to be rolling it out in what, about two weeks? Yes, sir. Uh, the course is done. We just need to roll it out. And uh, that's how you do that. So that'll be ready soon. That'll actually be ready before my book, y'all. Uh, we almost at 800,000 organic followers, y'all. We are almost at 800,000 organic followers. So uh, it's a lot of new followers that's coming over here for the content. You know, they've been seeing the content, been liking the content, and they've been following. So I just want to reintroduce myself to y'all my name is yakai rafa elohim uh everybody call me yaki awaken i am a certified biochemist i am now uh i now have my phd in natural science and health i'm a master herbalist anything to do with the natural healing methodology of the body that's what i do uh and the message i push is disease is illusion and i talk a lot about why i believe that and how i prove that uh day in and day out uh, I was younger, around 21. I had a heart attack. I suffered from uh, scar tissue on my heart. My kidneys was failing. I had fatty liver disease. I had toenail fungus, fingernail fungus. I had diabetes, erectile dysfunction because of the uh, medicine I was taking for high blood pressure. Like I was super, super messed up, y'all. And uh, I ended up healing myself. And how I healed myself was I went on a 120 day juice fast with the very geogenetic juice that I'm teaching y'all to drink. And I took some herbal concoctions that I, I mixed up uh, for myself after I went through my herbology uh, courses. So I did that, man. And I, I healed my body. I lost literally, everybody be thinking I'm lying, but when I say this, I mean it. I lost 60 pounds in eight days, y'all. I had saggy skin. I had to go after my thyroid to tighten up my skin. I was messed up. I had hemorrhoids for like four months because I was pooping so much. <laughs> I mean, I was really, really, really uh, messed up. And uh, yeah, after I healed myself, I healed a few people in my family. I healed my mom of high blood pressure and things she had going on. Then later on, went on to my sister. And then from there, I started healing people that was a part of the gang I used to be with. And then it went all throughout St. Louis. And then I ended up getting in contact uh, with a ba basketball player, a national basketball player, and I ended up healing him of herpes. And once I healed him of herpes, he gave me a lot of money, and he paid for my first lecture and first seminar. And uh, that's when it took off. So now y'all see me, but uh, I, I didn't used to be this way. I didn't used to look this way. I didn't know none of the knowledge that I know now. I was just like a lot of y'all that was sick looking for healing, man. And I took healing into my own hands. I stopped taking pharmaceutical medicines that was given to me by the doctor because the side effects was messing me up. And man, now we here, you know, many, many, many years later. We talking about 2009, y'all. It's 2024. And I literally been doing this since. So we got a lot of skin in the game. We got a, a, a lot of years in the game. Uh, clinical trials. I have my own clinics. I have my own storefront. We moved the storefront to the south side for those that keep coming on Dunn Road. It's not there no more. I know my big sign is still up, but that store is uh, not open. Uh, we travel around. We do healing homes. We got a bunch of healing testimonies. Uh, we, we are actually partnered with over seven accredited laboratories. Uh, throughout the United States. Uh, I'm very, very, I have a very, very close and personal relationship with the University of Illinois Laboratory. So, you know, we do a lot of work, y'all. So that's me. I appreciate y'all for following, for listening to the content. And yes, that's what I had to say. Uh, so we got a clinic actually on the south side of St. Louis. It's a clinic in Houston. And we're trying to open up another clinic right now in uh, Atlanta as we speak. So them or the so the one official clinic that is actually up and running right now is in the south side of St. Louis. 
uh, connected to that clinic, we have a 15,000 square feet warehouse where we do all of our herbal products. And then on the other side, uh, we do a bunch of the studio stuff. But I just got another building. How long ago that be? Well, we just signed a lease last week. Yeah, I just signed a lease last week to another building, and that's where we're going to be doing our actually studio at. So we're going to make the clinic uh, much bigger. Uh, we've been hiring a lot of employees to get better with our customer service. I mean, we doing, we've been doing a lot of stuff. So, you know, we're a growing business, and it's a family business. So, you know, we learning as we go, especially like with ordering and shipping out products and stuff like that. And damn, most of our products is made once you order we make it for you so you know to, to guarantee the potency for one to keep the integrity of the herbs then we have to send samples off to the laboratory to make sure that they ain't no herbal size insecticides and pesticides on it because a lot of people say that they are organic but they still be having stuff like that on them so we make sure we do that as well yeah but look i want to answer some questions y'all nah so yeah we we super legit yeah, about that too. So, uh, and I wanted to, I wanted to give a shout out and an apology, y'all. A shout out and an apology. I wanted to apologize to all of my followers and all of my people. I did a live the other day. Uh, we was talking about celery and we was talking about lemons and uh, amygdala. And I went online uh, and I through my live I said something that I was wrong about. I said that there was no Google or scholarly articles that said that stated amygdala was inside of celery all right i was wrong about that uh two people plus the dude that i did the video on all showed me at least one to two articles that actually showed celery with amygdala in it now was the sources credible i seen one they had a credible source but when i checked that source that was pretty kind of iffy but i did state this though I said that there wasn't any amygdala in celery and you couldn't find one article that stated that. And I was wrong. I was wrong. Three people sent me an actual article that did state that. Now, I'm not going to sit on here and argue back on whether the source was credible or not, because that don't matter. What came out of my mouth was something. Somebody showed me something else that proved me wrong. So as a man of my word, as a person that teach health, and as a person that must remain humble and a student is always a teacher and a teacher is always a student, I have to come forth and I have to say what it is. So I was wrong in that particular statement, y'all. Now, as far as my juice, is my juice causing cyanide poisoning? Not only no, nah, but hell no. Nah. Thousands of people on the juice right now. Hundreds of thousands been on the juice since I healed myself from the juice. If y'all go look at my video of the juice, there's Hundreds of people on there saying the benefits and what the juice is doing for them. And again, I heal myself from the juice and I have major healing testimonies off the juice as well. And I have not had one case, one case of so-called cyanide poison. So, but for my fans though, for my fans, for the ones who follow me, for my support system, I am never, never too proud or too prideful to apologize to y'all. You know, because y'all trust me with the information. And since y'all do trust me the way y'all do, whenever I am wrong and I'm proven wrong, I have to go to the same people that I that I did the information wrong to and correct that. So I'm here correcting the information. And I'm going to say it one more time and then we're going to move on. I said in a video that there wasn't one scholarly or Google article that, that proved that amygdala was in celery and I was wrong. And shots out to the three people that actually showed me those articles. And one of those was the actual dude, which I'm not gonna mention his name because his intentions and everything was wrong with him putting the video out with me in it anyway. So I would never mention his name and give him that type of power, but hey, he was actually right. And that's what it is. Now, before we get into the questions and answers, I know a lot of y'all wanna see why I do what I do and why I speak so highly of myself and why I'm so confident whenever I am speaking information. And this is why. When I say I have healing testimonies, I don't be lying. I've been showing y'all these healing testimonies for many, many years. Uh, and I'm gonna keep showing y'all this. We have thousands of new ones, but they own Yaki TV and Yaki TV is not released yet. So I just choose to show the same ones. Y'all can go to my Rumble account. It's the one that got uh, 9,025, uh, 9,020, uh, 250 followers. 
And if you can see, we got one right here where I healed a woman. Well, her body healed herself. That's another thing I'm going to quit doing. I'm going to quit saying that I healed. Because the only thing I did was facilitated the healing by offering the body the, the, the conditions for the cells to thrive in and detoxify. So I'm going to say I help detoxify the body because the body is a healer of itself. And I feel like we should quit taking credit for other people's healing testimonies because whenever you get on the herbs that I give you or you get on a diet that I give you, you the one that's really doing the work. I'm just showing you the way. And then your cells and your body is creating and kicking on NRF2 pathways, the metabolic way. Waste is starting to be released by the lymphatic system. That's all the work that your body is doing naturally. So we are not healing nothing. There is no healer on this earth. Your body is its own healer. You just have people that have the right intellect and knowledge to facilitate the healing by giving you the herbs, giving you the therapy, giving you the protocols and writing out the certain dietary mission or supplement that you need to be on. So I will say this. I have facilitated thousands and thousands of healings, y'all. I've been doing this since since a long time so uh just look at the, and these things are proven you can look this stuff yourself and these are people showing paperwork and speaking for themselves y'all i didn't coerce them into doing this i never paid nobody to do this these are people that get healed and call me hey my herpes is gone i want to do a live testimony my son liver cancer is gone i want to do a live testimony you know my brain cancer and pituitary tumor is gone i want to do a live testimony and, and and it's so many of them y'all so for anybody that ever doubt my uh my abilities to help facilitating in healing here go proof right here and y'all can y'all can look this stuff up y'all can look this stuff up so uh this is one right here and this is just talking about yaki uh herbal therapy heal cervical cancer y'all can go and look this up she's speaking for herself there's one of them uh, here go another one. This is one of my favorite testimonies ever. Uh, I helped a six-year-old. Uh, he had thyroid cancer and his liver was messed up because they stayed by a, a chemical complex and everybody around there was dying of cancer because they was around this basically this this nuclear waste center and a bunch of the whole neighborhood had caught cancer. And uh, I knew the mother. We had healed her of some different uh well, I can't say we heal her. Her body healed itself of some different issues she was going through. And we helped facilitate that healing and gave her the herbs and gave her the diet. And her son ended up getting uh, cancer. And, man, we completely got it gone, man. Completely gone. This is a very, very good one. We actually going to visit them. Hopefully, we can visit them tomorrow since we out here. Okay. Hit them up. Let's let's go visit them so I can do an update on them. But that's a six-year-old boy. Y'all can, can Google this and look it up. We got his picture, his face, his papers, testimonies, and everything that no longer have uh cancer and this plenty of these y'all i mean plenty this another one uh where we healed a 21 well i can't say we healed i'm trying to change that and the reason why i'm trying to change these words i'm trying to change what's going on in the healing community y'all i really am like we all messed up we all fighting one another we all bickering about one another putting each other down so i'm trying to change that but this is a uh, the creepy crawl of herpes a real detoxification this is another healing testimony uh of a uh, of a woman and her right face now. is in here as well she show her papers as well let's skip this here's the truth about the coming food crisis this might be your only we finna get to it y'all i just want to show y'all some things before we get here so where's she at you go to all it is so this so this showing her blood work paperwork she's actually in here too that's that's the six-year-old right there that got rid of the cancer i mean it's so many testimonies y'all uh, what else we got? I mean, there's so many of them. And then if you go on to my YouTube, uh, this is a, a basketball player by the name of Phil Kofer. Shouts out to this brother. And all, everybody I'm showing took my, everybody I'm showing y'all healed off of my geogenetic juice and my herbal remedy. Everybody. So anybody you see, they had the juice. They mixed the celery with the lemons and the cistric and nobody died. They actually healed. Ironically. Hmm. But uh, this is Phil Crawford, his testimony. Be, I guess not even really a skipping a beat. I don't even know how to explain, but yeah, if anybody had a heart palpation before, yeah. I was and he had thyroid issues, very bad thyroid issues. He's completely healed. He's doing amazing now. He's actually showing y'all how to juice now. He's showing y'all how to live now, everything. And y'all need to follow his channel, Phil Kofer, man. A, a very, very, very intelligent, uh, humble, down-to-earth down young brother. So check him out as well. 
you know, and he tells y'all, he got diabetes, one that we got, that we uh, helped get rid of. So, uh, cure my diabetes. It helped a lot of people who had this easiest. That man helped me change my life. I've been on the alkaline diet for 18 months. I cured my diabetes from y'all key. I am. Can you see, I cured my diabetes from y'all key. So many of them, y'all. Appreciate it. got another him. diabetes one. I have been blessed by him. I've, I've gotten healed through him. And these people are, these are people coming forth at my seminars and lectures. You know, we sell out every lecture, every seminar that we do at the HBCUs and in the college settings. Hundreds of people come forth and give their testimony on how they had cancer, how they had diabetes, heart disease, so many different things and, and don't have it no more. The man called me, he was like, this is another lady oh, with herpes. Got, uh, herpes. Um, a lot of people don't have so we can keep there go her her paperwork right there showing she had herpes and she don't have it no more okay they said they see it now all right so really works so i ended up talking on the phone with him like i said and i just flat out told him all my symptoms i said yo this is happening this this was been going on and it was instantly one of those things go another lady. lady so as like it was like ding 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 hi my friends how you doing so as many of you know, a year ago, I almost died. I had a heart attack. My kidneys were failing. My liver and my pancreas were not working. I was diagnosed with diabetes and I was on about five, four to five shots of insulin a day. And this is a type one diabetes healing testimony. She was on four or five shots a day. That's a lot of units, and she's not on none of that anymore. Uh, she changed her life around. She had a heart attack, so it's a bunch of healing testimonies. Um, I was depressed. You know, I was in a lot of pain. I had um, severe inflammation. It was horrible. Um, I found... And we can keep going, y'all. They are here. So hey, I just wanted to show y'all that, but this is on my... Uh, it's on my YouTube page, y'all. On my YouTube page, we post a bunch of healing testimonies, but y'all just don't be watching them. So I see a lot of people like, Negro, where's your healing testimonies? There's hundreds of them on my page. Y'all just got to go through the stuff. I'm talking about hundreds of them from uh, a, a lady. She had HIV. That's gone. On my page, y'all. Another one had hepatitis B. That's gone. That's on my page. This stuff been on my page, and I've been posting this stuff for years. L lupus, we get rid of that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Lupus is just an inflammatory uh, disease that you really call metabolic acidosis. So I'm just showing everybody that's now, you know, starting to follow me because I got a very, the, the following is just, is, is going crazy. I just wanted to show people that, hey, we really do this in real life. So if y'all ready to get this started, get y'all pens and pads. We got a bunch of questions, and then I'm going to be uh, letting people join the calls. I think I'm going to do about four questions, then I'll let people join in, and y'all can ask questions here on this live. Type in some nines, and we can get it started. Yeah, literally. There, the only thing that I haven't been able to help get rid of, and the reason why I'm saying help, because the body heals itself, I just help facilitate it, is blindness, y'all. I mean, blindness. Blindness. That's, I mean, that's about it. And I've been, how many people we done worked on on that? And we do it for free. Yeah. I just, I ain't, I, I just ain't got to that point yet. You know, and usually it's a, a detached retina. The octave nerve is completely damaged and pulled away from the eye. And it's something like that. So I'm trying to find out how to regenerate those nerve cells there, you know, and regenerate those myelin sheath cells there to get it to form back to the back of the eye. And I haven't done that yet. But the, other than that, y'all, I mean, there is nothing that I have come across other than that uh, that we haven't been able to to uh, eradicate from the body. Now, it have been a few cases where they are past the point of no return and they're in a chronic, very, very degenerative state. And, you know, you can't do nothing about it because they so far gone. But other than that, man, I mean, it's pretty it's pretty easy. All right. So first question, y'all, make sure y'all got your pens and y'all pass and let's get to it. It says, hi, sir. I need your help. I have a problem. I am 32 years old of age and I have weak urine flow. So automatically. If you tell me that you have weak urine flow, I'm thinking about the PSI that's coming from your urethra and your pelvic floor. So this shows me automatically that you have a weak pelvic floor and you can have a weak pelvic floor due to a bunch of things. The first thing I'm thinking about is a swollen prostate. Now, if is the prostate swollen or is the bladder obstructed? Is the pump that's in the bladder obstructed or is something going on your, with your urinary tract or what you call the tubes or the urethra? 
There's a lot of different things that we got to check here, but let's keep reading and see if we can find something or slim something down. It says, hi, sir. I need your help. I have a problem. I'm 32 years old. I have a weak urine flow. And when I try to use the bathroom or do the number two, my anus swells up. Okay, so we got a swollen anus. My anus swells up and it becomes hard for me to release and it hurts. So now I know for a fact that you got hemorrhoids too. So you got hemorrhoids and you have a swell, something, you have an obstruction in your urinary tract. It says, if you can please tell me anything, uh, can you please tell me anything or I can try anything to heal my body, please get back to me ASAP. So the first thing we have to do is we have to examine the whole entire urinary system and urinary tract. And we got to find out where it's coming from. And there's a few things that you can do. What I would do is I would go get a prostate check and uh, get a PSA, uh, Pacific, uh, a specific prostate antigen check to just really check and make sure that your prostate is not swollen or it has some type of itis or even can have some cancerous mutating cells there. The next thing you need to do is check to see if you got a bladder inf uh, infect uh, infection. And you also need to check to see if you got a urinary tract infection because we all can get all of those things. But what I want to do is I'm going to pull up a, a chart and we can go through the anatomy of the urinary tract system of a man and we can we can start doing the process of elimination so let's do it let's do it so the first thing i want to show you is a healthy prostate so if you look this is the urethra this red tube that's coming through these are the testicles everybody know that these are the testicle tubes now, if you look at the urethra, the urethra starts at the tip of the penis, is coming through the penis shaft, and then it's going actually inside of the body. Once it gets inside the body, deep inside, you see this little wall. It looked like a walnut. It's actually shaped uh, like a walnut, too, and it's about the size of a walnut. And look at it. It's actually between, I mean, it's actually around the actual urethra. And they, once it, once it passes here, they start calling it the tubes. So the prostate, if the prostate get get swelling it can actually swollen it can actually close this urethra and that'll actually pinch and stop the psi or the pressure from actually pushing urine through the tube y'all see what's exactly over the prostate is the actual bladder so if you have a obstruction in the bladder or if you have inflammation in the bladder due to acidosis this inflammation can cause swelling or isolation of the cells and this this can actually stop urination from coming down so that's a that's what you would call a bladder infection and that means a bunch a bunch a bunch of bacteria is inside of the bladder when it's not supposed to be there but you got to ask yourself a question why is the actual bladder infected with bacteria or over culturalized bacteria the bacteria is only in the body localizing the body for a specific reason and one reason only and that's to eat acid so whenever you have metabolic acidosis building up in the tissues of the body God, the creator, created certain types of bacteria to come keep those acids or that pH potential hydrogen at bay. So if you got acids that's building up inside the bladder or building up inside the prostate, the first thing that's going to happen is inflammation. Within that inflammation, that increases circulation, the circulation of the, of the interstitial fluid of the body. So what happens is pockets of bacteria will start coming into the bloodstream. Nutrition will start coming into the bloodstream and then going to those specific areas to rebuild the tissue there. Well, once it gets there and the bacteria see that it's an acid problems they'll pleomorphize themselves and culturalize themselves and produce more bacteria for they can start eating up all the acids so in order so what a lot of people would do is if you go to the doctors they will give you a pharmaceutical drug called antibiotics and the reason why they give you an antibiotic is because it's against life meaning it will kill the bacteria but they're not going after the root cause the root cause is the acidosis so how to change acidosis is to stop bringing in acid form in chemistry to the body and letting the bacteria eat the acids up and then once they get done eating the acids and there's no more acids to eat what they do is they pleomorphize themselves back into the glandular of the cells and then you won't see them no more so i'm gonna turn this back around so you could have an infection in your bladder now how you know if you have a uh, infection in your bladder all you have to do is feel in your lower abdomen right here if you feel in your lower abdomen and you dig in there and it's very very painful that means it's super inflamed and that means the instruction might be coming from the uh the bladder all right the next thing is it might be an actual swelling prostate because if the prostate again swells up once it get bigger it 
actually clamps down on the urethra tube and that's going to stop you from using it or urinating as well or urinating as well so and the best way to check your prostate is going to get it checked now some doctors like to manually check it where they stick their finger up your butt me Personally, I don't recommend, you know, you having a male doctor coming to check your prostate and sticking his finger up your butt. So I say get your blood checked and just check your PSA levels, your prostate specific antigens and see your numbers on there. Uh, it's supposed to be at a 0.1. Now, since so many males have high prostate numbers and prostate cancer, it's like number one amongst black males now. They brought it up to literally 1.3. Or I mean, uh, yeah, no, 3.1. 3.1 now is average. When five years ago, 3.1 mean it actually meant that you had uh, prostate cancer. So just get your prostate checked. All right, so get your prostate checked. Now there are things that you can actually do to fix this issue. But let's see if he had anything else going going on. He didn't. So I'm gonna show y'all how to fix this. So since you got these things going on and you do have them hemorrhoid problems going on, and you got all this inflammation. It's it's a bunch of things that can be going on here. For one, testosterone. When your levels, it's called androgens. So when your androgens get out of whack and your hormones get out of whack, we all know that the actual sexual hormone chemistry of the body is created by the pituitary gland. So the pituitary gland actually regulates the hormones of males and females. Like for instance, in a female, you have uh, what you would call prolactin. Prolactin actually is produced by the actual pituitary gland. You have oxytocin. Oxytocin is produced by the pituitary gland. Uh, you have estrogen. Estrogen is produced by the pituitary gland. And these are actually what you will call cholesterol converted hormones. So without cholesterol, it's impossible to convert sexual chemistry or sexual hormones. That's why people with low cholesterol count either die or they infertile and they can't reproduce because you cannot get any of your sexual hormones without cholesterol and it being converted through the sun by way of vitamin uh mineral it ain't a mineral vitamin d or what which is another hormone y'all so when you start looking at the male sexual organs the pituitary produces three things testosterone dihydro testosterone and dihydro epiandrosterone and if these become imbalanced or out of whack whack or you're bringing in too much estrogen what you would do is you will have an imbalance in hormones and that imbalance in hormones will actually send a growth hormone to the actual prostate gland and grow the prostate gland and when the prostate gland grows, it becomes swollen because now it's in some pocket of tissues that it's not supposed to be in. So this is going to send an inflammatory response throughout the body. They call it an immunological response or immune system response. I'm going to call it a lymphatic defense response. So as soon as that lymphatic defense response comes, you got T cells, B cells, you got all these helper cells, you got phagocyte tissues coming in. Once all these come in, they start banging and going to war with inflammation and acids. And then this causes more swelling. And this literally, it swells up and it pinches the urethra. And now it's hard for you to pee. Or you have frequent urinary uh, problems at night where when you get up at night, you can't help but to pee. And then when you finally is able to pee, you ain't got no PSI. You don't have no pound square per inch. You don't have no pressure per inch because, yo, and then when you pee, in, you, it's hard to get it out. And then you're putting your penis back into your drawers too quick. So then you start dribbling or what you would call literally peeing on yourself where you dripping out of your hole because you your, your walls and your tissues and your muscles and your fibers and your penis is not strong enough to hold the actual urinary uh liquids inside of the track now it's a bunch of ways to get rid of this though the first thing you need to do is pelvic floor exercises so i will google a pelvic floor exercise for you and you can and you can do this so let me google a pelvic floor exercise and this will be very good for you hold on male pelvic floor exercise so this is a good one right here, y'all. Let me change the camera. So this is a great pelvic floor exercise. It's strengthening up those muscles. That's one of them. Let's do another one. These are all pelvic floor exercises. And what you got to do is just go on YouTube. YouTube have so many free exercises you can do. Yeah, the, yeah, the Kegel exercise is super good too. And they help you hold your urine in. So let's just see if he's going to do a quick one for us. 
And all these are good exercises. So just get on there and Google those, and them are super, super good for you. All right, so pelvic floor exercise is good. Uh, make sure that you get off of all caffeine. Uh, caffeine is a diuretic, and if you have... If you have a, a urinary tract infection and if it's hard for you to actually urine since caffeine is a diuretic, it's going to try to make you urine more, which is going to build up more pressure because you're so swollen. So then you're going to back and fill up the actual bladder even more. And there's a difference between a bladder and a gallbladder, y'all. The gallbladder holds your bowel. 